according to the historical documents of the church, the very first Holy Mass, as we mentioned, was celebrated on March 31st, 1521. It was an Easter Sunday. It marked the beginning of the church's history in the Philippines. So maybe you uh, both can help us paint a picture of this. Let's elaborate on what you know of that day. We'll start with Dr. Maximiano. 1521, Pope Leo X, excommunicated Martin Luther. And the Protestant Reformation was spreading throughout the northern part of Europe. Down south of Spain and Portugal, the Moors were reconquering. There is no way by divine providence that they cannot, that they can continue evangelization. So they have to go east. They have to cross the Pacific. And then they reach Latin America. Then they reach the Philippines, crossing the Pacific. This is the most beautiful divine providence gift to us. There was chaos in Europe, so they have to go to our place. If there were no chaos in Europe, they would not come to us. So when they arrived, March, Easter Sunday, they celebrated the Mass. Father Pedro de Balderrama celebrated the Mass. This is the very first time that the physical presence of Jesus, the real presence of Jesus, became alive in this part of the world by virtue of that Holy Mass. The sacramental presence of God became alive in our land for the first time. This is really a gift that we have carried within our hearts. And secondly, this is to understand that the universal redemption of Jesus celebrated, happened 2,000 years ago in Israel, happened again in our very own land, in Leyte, Limasawa Leyte, the island where the first Mass was uh, celebrated. So it was applied to us. It became real. It became alive. And Limasawa Leyte became the birth birthplace of Christianity in the Philippines.